There it is. Now leave me alone for the love of everything holy and decent. This is the 9800GX2. So leave me alone. Stop sending me emails saying when is it going to come out. Stop sending me emails. I've been harassed. This is it guys. So leave me alone. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about it right now in, in just a second. It's a, uh, oh wow, this is a monster of a card. This is a little larger than the 8800 Ultra. Um, take a look at the heat sink on this thing. This thing's uh, what's, what's it built like? Somebody help me. It's built like something large. It's exactly what it's built like. All the way around the top, it's sealed up really good. Uh, let me, while I'm up here on the top, I'm going to show you where the power goes right there. Pull, pull that sticker off. It needs an 8-pin and a 6-pin PCI Express connector. You'll need to plug both of those in. Uh, let's go right into the specs. How fast is this thing? Well, they've been screaming and yelling that it's 30% faster than the 8800 Ultra, which would make it 30% faster than about the fastest thing I've ever heard of. Uh, and that is true in games that, uh, are, that have SLI enabled. Now, this has two uh, GPU cores. They're 65 nm cores, so we have two GPUs on this one card, meaning that if... Uh, if you're playing a game and the SLI is not uh, enabled in that game, it's not going to get that much more speed over a standard 8800 GT. But if you're playing a game that has SLI enabled, where you're going to have both of those on one card, it's going to take up uh, one of the 16-speed uh, PCI Express slots in your computer, and you're going to get a lot of speed out of this one card. And yeah, sometimes up to 30% faster than the 8800 Ultra. Now, we did some benchmarks. I'll show you those in a second. First, I want to tell you what we've got right here. Here! Now, with this card, 600 megahertz core clock, uh, the uh, shader clock is at 1500 megahertz, and the uh, DDR rate is uh, 2000 megahertz. It's uh, got a gigabyte of DDR3, one gigabyte, I mean, um, 512 megabytes for each core. Also, each core runs on a 256, um, or 256 bit, I guess that's the bandwidth. And also, for each core, we have uh, 128 stream processors. So we've got a lot of stream processors. I mean, it's a monster. and my predictions are, I mean, the, the benchmarks are good, but my predictions are as um, time progresses and, and new uh, driver, drivers come out, I think this thing's going to be a lot faster because I'm looking at the benchmarks and I think there's even more potential with this card uh, than in these preliminary benchmarks that I'm going to start talking about right now. Benchmarks, let's talk about Half-Life 2 Episode 2. All the filters turned up, running it at 1920 by 1200. Now, the, uh, well, I'm going to compare this with the 8800 GT. And I'm going to compare this with the uh, Radeon 3870X2, which is a monster in itself. All right. First off, the 8800 GT was 135 frames per second. This card, the uh, GX2, 227 frames per second. And tagging slightly behind was the uh, 3870X2. That was a 208 frames per second. So, uh, yeah. Fastest card out there right now. The, uh, the reigning champion was that Radeon but not anymore. All right, let's talk about World in Conflict, running at uh, 1600 by 1200. We tried this one out in Vista, and uh, I don't think the drivers are as good in Vista as they are in XP, because I noticed that, the, that they were a little faster in, in XP, but let's, let's talk about Vista. A lot of people have Vista. Uh, the 8800 GT was at 46 frames a second. This card, 49 frames a second, and the uh, 3870X2 at 47 frames a second. That game, I guess, doesn't take advantage of the SLI as much as some of the other games. So, uh, moving on to Crisis. At 1920 by 1200, um, now with the 8800 GT, we were able to get 31 frames a second. Uh, with the 3870X2, we got 29 frames a second. And with this card, at 1920 by 1200, we got 42 frames a second. So this is really the first card that I would say Crisis is playable uh, at 1920 by 1200. It's crazy. Unreal Tournament 3, let's talk about that one. Now, Unreal Tournament 3 uh, really takes advantage of the SLI, so we get a huge jump in speed on this one. Running this with all the filters turned up, 1920 by 1200, the 8800 GT is at 58 frames a second. This card is at 130 frames per second, and the 3870X2 was at 97 frames per second. So I'm going to say that I think in the future, as more games release patches that update it to work with SLI, and uh, we get some new drivers for this thing, I think that this is really the, the game that we should think about the most. 130 frames per second, compare that to the, to the 8800 GT, which got 58 frames per second. So you can really see uh, how the future games are going to work with this card. So, so think about that. Also, if you want SLI, you know what, you can, you can run two of these things together. And uh, that's going to be amazing. There we go, right there, that's SLI. You'll have four GPUs in your system. There's two on this one, there'll be two on the other one. 
I don't even have to say anything. I'm just a moment of silence for the ridiculousness that that would bring to your computing power system of things. You know, I'm just gonna move it around a little bit because it looks so cool. Look at the ports. Do you guys see what's on this? Right there, that's HDMI, 1080p coming out of this thing. Thank you, NVIDIA. Thank you so much for the HDMI on this card. That's something that I always wanted to have on board. We had to get the adapters before, but no, right there. HDMI, guys, thanks a lot. And then here we have uh, dual DVI ports. You can run two, two monitors, 2560 by 1600. Uh, let me show you what comes in the box really quick. I'm gonna put this down. I've got a box of goodies right here. Let's see what's inside here. This is my favorite part. Yay, stuff on the table. All right, we've got two of the uh, DVI to VGA adapters right there. Da -da 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 -da. I'm a Star Trek character. Hello. Hello, I'm crazy DVI-I. DVI-I? That's a new port they haven't invented yet. So basically, what I want to say with this video is two things. Number one, this thing is extremely fast. And uh, number two, leave me alone. I've had enough of your emails. And I, and I don't need to get my pants sued off by NVIDIA. You guys tried to get me to divulge information before the release date. Well, no, that's the answer. So leave me alone and go get one of these and then go brag to all your friends because that's what you do. That's what we all do. And this is the end of the video. For more information on the EVGA GeForce 9800 GX2, go to compusa.com and type E145-9800 into the search box or call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 1-800-COMP-USA.